Here's a 2021 Peterbilt. It's got an all fat body on it. Brand new outfit. We're going to go touch the customer. We're going to be installing in a 3-8 thick, 10 foot wide UHMW liner manufactured from Avalanche. Right here's the liner. We'll be installing into the truck today. Once again, it's 3 8 thick, 10 foot wide, 19 foot long, manufactured by Avalanche. See the white lines on here? These are the measurements that's transposed from the doghouse and any other cutouts that may need to be done. You go, go ahead and use a regular circular saw to cut the uh, lines out. After all the saw work is completed on the liner, we'll go ahead and take two inch ratchet straps, put them on the edges of the liner and pull them together. That will assist in installing the liner into the back of the truck. So we're gonna slide it into the back of this truck here and we'll move on to the next uh, procedure. Once the liner is installed into the trailer or straight truck, get load jacks, and what these do will push pressure down on the liner to get it tight against your clean outs. At that point, once you get those tight, you can start measuring for your cover strips that need welded in. Once the liner is installed, everything's tacked down, we put what's called cover strips in. Right here's one down on the floor. We mount those up on the wall that caps the liner off to the side wall of the trailer to keep any of the debris from going in there. And um, all he does is go ahead and tax them in place. Then he starts welding them. Product of the liner, all fit real nice on the doghouse, bulkhead, screws. We put a row of screws in here also to hold it. Once again, this is an avalanche liner, very nice product installed by Tiger Tarps. Any questions, feel free to give us a call, either Avalanche or Tiger Tarps.